I'm John Halliwell. I study happiness. Essentially, what's been happening is that we've been building a broader public awareness of and therefore demand for well-being and at the same time getting the data that permits a broader understanding and then that combination is then feeding through into policymakers. The thing that I'm especially uh, proud of and happy about is that as we have proceeded with the World Happiness Report we've managed to raise its perceived importance, not just among the general public and policymakers, but among researchers. So that it's now being regarded as a place where the best researchers are happy to bring their best research. And so then you get positive feedbacks on all sides, right? There are more people who want to read it, there are more people who want to contribute to it, and everybody's happier with the process going on. The key questions relate to understanding more about the processes that are going on, the dynamics, and so many of these nice things that we call virtuous circles where generosity creates happiness which feeds back into more generosity and same with trust. You live in somewhere where wallets are returned, you're more likely to return a wallet if you know about it. So you get these virtuous circles. Policymakers typically, at the micro level especially, where really most of the action is, they want to intervene in a way that helps most. So to do that, we have to then say, where's the best point to come in on this virtuous circle? Here, here, or try different places, and then watch and see what happens. So rather large scale, in a sense of try many things. And so many of these things are so obviously good that even if you haven't found the best one first, you've done some good along the way and then you'll know how to make it even better the next time. In a sense, this triumvirate of better data, better research, better communication to the public, and this is something that people often don't think about, that it's one thing to get something out in the public arena and understood and liked, and then you have to get it feeding back into the signals that the policymakers are receiving, not from their own people who say, yes, we can improve these policies, but from the public who say, yes, we think we know how to make better lives for each other, but you've got this risk-averse administrative structure over there that won't let us keep our playgrounds open or our schoolyards open, and would you help us to open doors for others? So you need that demand coming back from an educated, enlivened, encouraged public to the policymakers who are generally pretty receptive if they get requests from people who really have good ideas about how to make lives better. Everyone likes to be part of a winning project.